Hello and welcome to Physicality Therapies and our beginner Pilates. So today it's another nice beginner class, it's a general full body class, let's get into it. So we're going to start with our warm up and we're just going to start with our dumb waiter arms. So just get yourself set, so we're looking for our feet on the mat to be sort of uh, shoulder width, shoulder hip width distance apart, sort of level with your shoulders. So how you can do this is if you put your feet together, you flare both your heels out and then both your toes out and you'll get into this nice position here. And then you want to make sure your pelvis is nice and set, so just rock forwards and backwards at your pelvis. It might help if you put your hands on it like this. You can feel that motion forwards and backwards. Just do a few of those. You're going to reach that middle point and you're going to hold it there. As we move up again, our shoulders and collarbones now. So our collarbones here want to be nice and wide, nice and smiling, to so make sure these shoulders aren't scrunched forwards. Want to be nice and wide and you're sort of flaring your chest out ever so slightly. Shoulders nice and set back and relax, and you're looking to tuck your shoulder blades down into your back pocket. So you're looking to draw them down. And then from there, we're just going to put both of our arms with our palms facing up, our elbows bent and tucked into our sides into this position here. What you're going to do here for our dumb waiter is just to rotate both arms out and back. And the important thing here is keeping that shoulder position. So what I don't want is this. We're not aiming for this. We're not aiming to get our shoulders forwards or really high up. We want to keep the shoulders down and fixed, everything else fixed as we move out. Our elbows are going to stay in at our sides as we move out. I'm going to breathe in to prepare, out and move, in to come back, out to move. I'm just going to keep going like that. Just nice slow movements, just out to the side and back in. I'm going to keep doing that. I'm just going to keep rotating out and coming back in. Rotating out, coming back in. And then from there, we're actually going to progress this. So this, this, uh, this is why this walk, this workout is known as our progressive walk, uh, workout. So we're going to progress this to doing a Cleopatra. So from here to progress into a Cleopatra, we're going to extend out into our dumbwaiter position. We're then going to extend our elbows so that our arms come out, still sort of a little bit forward, still level with our body. Tip our palms, come back in like that. So you can break that movement down, so you're going to do your dumb waiter out, both elbows extend out, tip and come back in. And what we want to do is, is, as you learn that, is to get a nice flow to it. So instead of it being jerky sort of movements as you're learning them, we're going to get this flow like this. So to slow that down, we're just going to go out, extend as we go out, tip, come back in like so and just making it nice and smooth we're all about that flow uh, making sure that our movement is nice and smooth this is a great warm-up for those shoulders keeping them down getting our arms to stretch out as we go brilliant i'm going to do another few of these Brilliant. And then from there, we're going to learn a new sequence to sort of add to that later on. So again, we're just sort of progressing that. We're looking to add these building blocks together in our beginner workouts to try and get some sort of progression uh, and also show you what these moves will look like in, in maybe more an advanced class where we'd, where we'd look to put several things together. So we're going to start off with a walking sequence. So your feet in the same position. In order to get into sort of that nice walking sequence, we're going to rise up onto both of our toes. That's all we're going to do to start off with. Drop down, rise up onto both of your toes, drop down. I'm just going to do that a few times just to get used to that movement. And from there we're now just going to drop one heel and you'll see that the leg, uh, the opposite leg, um, the heel that you've dropped, the leg will go straight, the opposite leg the knee will bend slightly and you'll just get into that walking motion like that. So you're just raising one heel, dropping one heel. There should be a point in the sequence where they're both raised. There shouldn't be a point where they're both dropped. 
so they should be, as one's coming up, one should be going down, so there should be a very slight moment where both of those heels are raised off. So we're going to keep going with this, and then while we're in that position, let's add in our drum waiter on. So we're going to keep our palms out like this to start off with. Just get your balance in that position, just feel how that feels, keeping our weight transferring from foot to foot as we rise up onto our toes and drop one heel down and then we're just going to rotate our arms out and come back in. Nice and simple. Brilliant. A lot of coordination here. Let's keep that going. Just going to rotate out and come back in. Brilliant. Keep going with this. So this is then adding in both of the arms that we've learned and our uh, heel raises our walking sequence that we've learned to sort of add a bit of a progression to that. You start to feel that your legs are getting a little bit tired, a little bit tight now. So you're starting to warm them up, warm up our ankles in particular, which are really important. So then from here, we're just going to slowly come up onto both of our toes, stop with our arms, drop both of our heels down, and relax. That's the first bit done. We've got one more little bit to our warm up which starts to go into a bit of strength work. So this is just your basic squat. So don't want you to be put off by the word squat. Um, okay, there's several different ways of doing a squat. You're probably used to the way where a lot of people have weights on or you know, we're bouncing up and down, we're doing them really fast. In Pilates, we want to slow that right down. We want to look at the quality of our movement. So what we're going to do is just drop into however's comfortable for you. So in order to get into a good squat position, what you're looking to do is hinge from your hips. So we're looking to push our hips back as we come down. We're looking to keep our back nice and straight, chest facing upwards, so that you should be able to look sort of straight ahead of you without any sort of problems or slightly down if you're keeping your neck neutral. And then from there, we're just gonna hold that. Just hold that for about five seconds. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Brilliant. Come back up, we're gonna do another couple of those. So we're gonna drop down into that position. Try and get a little bit lower if you can. Try and feel that stretch through these hips, through these quads here, holding us up. They'll be nice and strong, holding us up. We're gonna hold that position. You can clench your hands together in front of you like I tend to do. You can put your hands on your, on your quads hands on your hips, wherever feels comfortable for you, for a bit of balance, even if it's out to the side. Again, just go as, as far down as you can and come out. Brilliant. One more of these. So we're just going down and we're holding it. I'm going to hold it for about five to ten seconds, whatever feels comfortable for you, however far down feels comfortable for you. Even if you're holding it at this position here and that's, and that's working these legs, that's completely fine. Next time we do this workout, try and get a little bit lower. Okay, and we're gonna come back up. Right, so now either on your mat, towel, whatever you've got on your floor, even if it's just your floor itself, we're gonna go come to the edge of your space now, at one end. We're gonna look to roll down. So I'm gonna show you first how this looks from the front. So what you're gonna be doing is tucking your chin into your chest, like so, and then rolling down through this movement as low as you can, even if it's to here, 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 wherever feels comfortable for you, and coming back up, okay? From there, what we're looking to do is roll each bow one at a time, and just hang in that position and come back up. So you're imagining like a string of pearls, you're rolling one at a time, so let's go. We're gonna be on the end of our mats, and our chin and neck moves first and then we slowly roll each bone down you may need to just keep your knees a little bit soft if you've got tight hamstrings so by soft I mean just slightly bent and we're going to do the same again and come back up and we're going to do the same again and then roll down I'm going to walk this out so walk out with being on your hands get into this position here where we're on all fours. All right, so we're gonna walk that back up and we're gonna do the same again. 
I'm going to roll down, walk out with your hands into this position here and walk it back and come back up. We're going to roll down. Even if you can't do the walk out, just keep rolling down. And then now, if you haven't been doing your walk out, just get down onto your mat into all fours. In this position here, what we're going to be doing is doing our knee pulling prone prep, uh, our leg pulling prone prep, sorry, um, level one. So for this, we're going to be using up quite a bit of these sh this shoulder strength, but also a lot of it comes from your feet and ankles. So we're going to tuck our toes under, and then we're going to come up and just hover our knees off the mat, pushing through your toes and come back down. So all you're doing is literally, it's literally a tiny movement, about that much off the mat of both of your knees. They both move together and they both move by pushing through your feet. Okay, so it's quite, quite hard on, on feet. Um, so if you have got some arthritis in your feet there, Try and just uh, uh, try and just hold in the um, in the position that we're in on all fours, and then we're gonna get we're gonna get back to it afterwards. So for uh, the rest of us that are gonna be doing this, let's rise up and down, up and down, and we're gonna rise up and hold one, two, three, four, and down. Rise up and hold, one, two, three, four, and down. Rise up and hold, one, two, three, four, and down. Brilliant, that's great. So untuck your toes and just drop back into this rest position here. From there, we're now gonna go onto our front, onto the mat, and now we're gonna progress through our levels of swimming. So again, getting that progression in there to show you how it all fits together. So, if you've done any of our workouts before, our swimming level one is just our arms moving. So it's arms hovering one, two, just above the mat, just gently reaching forwards as much as you can. And you're just lifting your arms just to sort of ear, head height. You're just lifting up. Out. I'm going to be doing another bit of this. Keep these going. Another five. One, two, three, four, and five. Brilliant. So from there, we're going to look to progress that into our swimming level two. So our level two is our legs. So. We ignore our arms, our arms can be nice and folded under our head or wherever's comfortable and you're just lifting and reaching your legs. So we're lifting and reaching for that wall behind us, that imaginary wall we never can quite reach but we're looking for length through our body. Your head should be down, just resting as we do this. And just reaching forwards with those feet hovering a little bit above the mat and you're just swapping over with those feet and just looking for length of those feet looking to elongate through that leg trying to touch that wall behind your toes pointed reach brilliant so now if you found that challenging keep with that if, if you if you feel like you can do a little bit more we're going to move on to our level three so with all of these it's going to be different levels stick with what you find that challenges you at the minute and then move on so that we get this so you get your technique nailed before you move on so now we're going to look at level three which is basically putting all this together so we're going to do arms and legs so opposite arm opposite leg just raising and lowering and again looking for length looking for that pelvis not to move as we're down on the mat looking for our collarbones to stay smiling 
looking for length through both of the leg and the arm as we rise them up just a little bit above the mat and lower them back down see so your fingers pointed toes pointed and we're doing one at a time lifted opposite to opposite get into your rhythm opposite to opposite brilliant another few one two three four five brilliant and relax well done so that's a really good one to get that strength get that movement through both your hip and your arm and getting that pelvis and core really nice and strong fixing that in position so now from there we're going to be doing a sort of a uh, progression on that for a legs exercise so this is a nice one if you've been um, doing sort of your swimming and things like that struggling a little bit more with your coordination of your feet and your and um, struggling a little bit more with that this is a really good one for that so this is called one leg kick so how this looks for level one is we're just going to rise this leg up with our um, with our thigh planted still on the mat so just bending your knee and you're going to rise your heel towards your bottom and then it's going to go straight heel straight heel so point your toe as you go away heel towards your bottom and you're just going to bend from your knee there so we're going to just bend in this position from our knee so let's keep going with our first leg let's kick it off Keep going with that. Brilliant. Keep that going nice and strong through that leg. Keeping your thigh on the mat. We're going to do one, two, three, four, five. Lower that leg back down. We're now going to move on to our other legs, exactly the same. And we're just going to go heel, toe, heel, toe. So in this position, again, head down, resting on your hands, keeping your collarbone smiling, keeping your pelvis nice and in position on the mat. No rocking around on there. Imagine you've got a tray of drinks across that pelvis at the back. And you want to keep those from spilling. So we're going to keep going with this. Number five. One, two, three, four, and five. Brilliant. And relax that leg back down. So you don't, we're not looking for speed there. The speed will come with the quality of the movement. We want you to get that quality there. So keep working through that quality of movement. So we're now going to progress that to a level two. So if you're struggling with that, keep with it. Keep with the level one as we as we show you what it looks like uh, into a level two. So if you if you're watching this back and you want to you want to progress to a level two, let's do that right now. So level two is with the leg hanging off the ground ever so slightly. So again with our swimming. We're going to look for our thigh this time to be off the ground. So when you're out in the outstretched position, you're going to be like this. And then we're going to bend the knee and do that. Okay, so keep a lot of core strength here. A lot of, core, a lot of things to coordinate as we push through that leg. Brilliant. Keep that going. We're going to do five more. One. Two, three, four, and five. Brilliant. Bit tough for that. Well done. We're now going to move on to our other leg. Exactly the same. We're going to go for our level two. So, whole leg raises off the mat. Knee bends. And we're going to be going for it. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, let's 
get to 10. 8, 9, 10. Brilliant. And lower that leg back down. So that's a hard one to keep your pelvic control. So again, that's that's yeah, working into that core strength, working into how we're going to use that core strength to make sure we treat any low back pain, any um, pain or movement, that sort of thing. Keeping that back nice and keeping those core muscles nicely turned on throughout these exercises so that we can then translate that into real life when you're out there sort of walking and things like that. That's a walking, that's a running motion with that leg that we would do on a daily basis. We're now going to roll onto our side and a muscle group that causes a lot of problems but people don't tend to, ex uh, to exercise a lot, the glutes. So from here we're going to align ourselves to the back of this mat. So if I turn over, this is how this looks. So you want your heels, your hips and your shoulders all in a big line across this across this mat here, okay? Your, um, your bottom arm is stretched out straight and your head's just resting on this bottom arm here. Okay, so if I get myself back like this, so you set yourself in that position, you're going to want to draw that top hip ever so slightly away. You create a little bit of a gap under here just to make sure you're nice and stacked and in line and nice and long through this top leg. From here, we're going to go into our clam level one. So our level one is, is just rotating that top leg off the bottom leg using our foot there as a stabiliser. So our bottom leg stays completely still. Our top leg is just hinging from this hip joint here, but it should be nice and still at the front here. All that movement should be coming further back. We're going to just keep going with that. So if you feel the bony bit of your pelvis up here, that shouldn't be moving. All the, all the movement's coming from the actual joint. We're going to do five more of those. So one, two, three, four, and five. You should be feeling that sort of in this area here at the back. From here, we're going to progress this into our level two, uh, our level three. Sorry, our level two is an exercise that we teach um, sort of individually, not really for a class situation. So our level three is that we're going to bring both our feet up, so they're in line with the rest of our body. And from here, it's quite a challenging one. We're going to be raising this top leg again, pushing through that foot. But this time, that foot's up in the air. So we get a bit more of a wobble, keep that pelvis nice and aligned. Imagine you've got lights on there, they point to headlights on there, they're pointing forward, slightly down. We're keeping everything aligned, everything nice and in line there. So we raise up and come down. And down. Brilliant. We're gonna keep going with that. We're gonna do five more. One, two, three, four, and five. And now leave that knee stacked and rotate those legs down, get everything nice and flat and on the mat. Well done, that's worked really, really well there. We're now gonna go onto our back. So rotate onto your back from that position for our abdo prep. So you're just gonna bend your knees up into this sort of 90 degree position. And from here we can set our pelvis by imagining that if we draw a diamond, so you can even draw this with your hands, so we're going to draw a diamond, both of our thumbs in our belly button, both of our fingers pointing down towards our pubic bone there, and then from there imagine there's a diamond, uh, there's a marble in that diamond, I'm going to tilt it forwards and backwards, side to side, and then we're going to find that middle point where that marble then doesn't move anymore within that diamond, and that's your pelvis set in this position. Again, drawing your collarbones, um, drawing your collarbones away from each other, making sure that you've got them nice and smiling on there, nice and wide. We're going to draw our shoulder blades down into our back pockets again, and from this position here, what we're going to look to do is just peel our shoulders and our head off the mat and come back down. The important thing to remember is it's not a sit up like this, and also to keep a gap in between your chin and your. Um, 
for your breastbone there, so imagine there is a peach under your chin, you don't want to squash, uh, you can't squash that juicy peach, and we're going to sit up. From this position, just peeling both of our shoulder blades off the mat and coming back down. So it's like sort of half, if that, of a sit up, we're just peeling off, we're just getting these abdominal muscles to tighten up as we peel off. Five more of those. One, two, three, four, five. Brilliant. So from there, we're now going to go into our oblique prep. So this again is building on, on what we've just done there by rising up exactly the same, but this time we're going to take this shoulder. So if you imagine you're taking your uh, right shoulder over to your left hip. So you get this twist in motion. And again, we're just looking to draw this shoulder blade off the mat so that the other one comes up a little bit too. And then we're going to go to the other side. So we're going to alternate sides as we come up. So we're going to do five to each side. So that's one. Two. And again, keeping that peach. Three. Four. Going down after each one, it's not continuous twist in motion. Five, six, brilliant. So, from there, we are now going to go into our clams on the other side from here. So, we're going to look to um, build on what we did on the same side so you can either swap ends of your mat if you're um, struggling for space or you can just roll over onto your other side whichever side you haven't done before and then from there we're going to be going into our level one clam so our level one clam we're just rising this top leg off and coming back down nice and gently here so again, remember to get yourself set before you start. Getting yourself set in this position, remember, with our arm out, our head resting on that arm, our legs and uh, our hips, feet and shoulders aligned on that, on that edge of the mat there, keeping everything in line as we keep a little bit of space through this top hip, so we're drawing this top hip away from the bottom hip to create a bit of space underneath us here. Imagine you've got sort of um, something nice and soft again under there, maybe something like a pull, nice and small, just a little gap under there, that again, you don't want to squash, you don't want to keep, you don't want to squash that, possibly even sort of a raspberry size under there. You don't want to squash that, and are drawing that top knee, off the bottom here, squeezing through these bottom muscles here to get that knee moving. Brilliant. From there, either keep with that position if it's nice and challenging for you, or we're going to move on to our level three. So raising our feet up in line with the rest of our body and raising that top leg off again. Brilliant. Keep going with that nice and challenging this. Get us going. Again, like I said, this is a progressions workout, so if you can't do the next progression, that's completely fine. This workout's designed to challenge you that little bit, give you those progressions that you know you don't have to do, but are there for you to do, and we're guiding, guiding you through it. So let's keep going with that. We're gonna do five more. One, two, three. Four and five. Brilliant. Knees come together, feet lower to the mat. From there, we're going to roll um, it back to our back and we're going to go for some bridges. So, and we're at our back here in this nice set position. 
we're going to do some bridges from here. So a bridge is simply we're going to raise our bottom up off the floor, our hips up onto our shoulder blades. So we're going to end up in this position here. Okay, so you're going to end up like this. Nice position, pushing through your legs, pushing, we're not really pushing through these uh, upper, le upper shoulder blades, we're just holding it with those. And we're keeping our tummy muscles and our bottom muscles that we've just worked on both sides, keeping all that engaged, keeping this position. How we get in that position is we look to rotate again like a string of pearls. Each, each vertebrae, that spine, we're looking to rotate each bone up individually, keeping it nice and fluid, nice and keeping the back nice and engaged throughout. So we're going to tuck our tailbone under. Roll each vertebrae one at a time off that mat. Hold nice and slow into that position. From there we're just going to hold it for a count of five. One, two, three, four, five. Now relax that down. Again, nice and slowly. Nice and slowly down to that position that we started in. We're going to do that twice more so we're going to come again. Hold. One, two, three, four, five, and come back down. And then from there we're going to raise up once more. One, two, three, four, five, and rotate that back down. Brilliant. From there, I'm going to show you a um, progression again for that. Um, so we're going to roll up into that position again. This time, we're going to take one leg and we're going to float it up. So what we do mean by floating is that instead of you bringing your knee up or anything like that, the leg's just going to lift up into exactly the same position as it was in on the mat. So we're looking to keep that bridge keep that leg in a nice 90-90 position. So 90 degrees at the hips are nice and straight and 90 degrees at this bit, so nice and straight again. Keep that bridge held, leg goes down, bridge rotates down. Well done, we're going to do that on the other side now. So bridge comes up, leg comes up, keep that bridge, keep that bridge, leg goes down, bridge rotates down. Well done. From here, come onto your side, push yourself up, and fall one leg in front of you, one leg behind into this sort of split stance position here. We're going to start on our cool down now, so we're going to start on our mermaid from, from this position. So our mermaid from this position is that we're going to rotate one arm, coming over the top and to our opposite, to our side that is that our leg is at so we're going to look to put our other arm down as a stabilizer we're going to come over the top of this arm reach over and you're going to feel all that through here nice stretch through that side brilliant keep that position well done challenging class today full body just shows you what you can do and what progressions you can make to some of these moves that we that we put in to these classes and then from there coming back swapping over with our legs and exactly the same on this side so there's probably one side you'll be able to get a little bit further with or through the stretch that's completely normal Well done for taking this workout today. Really, really good to get our bodies moving, especially as we're moving less during this uh, during these periods. So we're going to come back up. Both of our legs this time are going to cross over in front of us. From here, we're going to do a spine stretch. So we're going to sit nice and upright. Both of our arms are going to go above our heads. And our spine and our arms is going to come down, we're going to come down to this position here. We're all bent over, so you're looking 
just in front of this of this uh, front leg and then we're going to straighten back up give these arms a stretch out to the side stretch back up one more of these so you're looking again we're rotating each vertebrae just into a nice stretch position here coming back up arms can stretch out coming back round and then from here I'm going to start to come up from the mat so I'm going to start off in this position here and we've done this stretch once as I, I demonstrated at the start but basically you're going to reach forwards as far as you can keeping your sitting bones on your heels into our Pilates rest position or child pose stretch if you're into yoga come down onto the mat keeping ourselves in this position nice stretch hold this well done guys keep that stretch and we're going to come up now and then from here if you just get yourself a little bit of room you're just going to be in this position here both of your arms just leaning back just as far as you can just to open all out on this front plane here if you're struggling for support get right onto your knees reach your feet up for some support one at a time there it also does take away some support if you do two feet with the one foot if you need some support reaching back stretching out brilliant and there concludes our class for today hope you've enjoyed it so that's a full body beginners class it's a beginners progression class so we're looking at doing all these exercises we're looking at hammering those progressions showing you how to get good form in those progressions hope you've enjoyed it Hope you check out some other videos on our channel and see you again soon.